When I was a kid, my mother wanted me to be an engineer when I grew up someday. I asked why and she said, well, because engineers are smart and they earn a lot. Now, as a child, I didn't think much about money and adulthood felt like a very far away thing. But I saw my parents seem to always wing by and barely make ends meet. And I was ignorant of how broke and poor we were as a family. And for most part of school life, I grew up like every other kid, went through the same things like every other kid. Then one day, I stopped high school abruptly. My mother and father divorced. They sold the house and everything away. My father got out of the picture and my mom thought it was a good idea to start a new life in another country. So we flew to London, UK and practically lived on bags. I'm not proud to say this, but in the short period in UK, I worked illegally. I had to, I mean, what other choice did I have? I delivered papers early in the morning and served as a waiter at a cafe for the rest of the day. So this continued for three months. However, it didn't even cover weekly rent. So life in the UK came to an end when the police met me outside the cafe one late evening. It was a miracle that they let me off despite being there on a holiday visa. And that was when I decided we should all go back to Malaysia. I was just too embarrassed to meet my school friends, so instead we went to Johor, hoping that my mother would get a job in Singapore and I would finish SPM with a few months I had left as a substitute student. So I entered the workforce almost right away as an office boy. So I was paid a measly 6 ringgit an hour, but beggars can be choosers, right? I didn't have a car, I rented a room, and I spent 3 hours every day going to and back from work. It was a frightening period in my life and my mother was sad I had to grow up too fast. So as a teenager and young adult, very quickly I learned how unforgiving work life can be. And while my other friends at my age were going to prestigious colleges, partying away, finding girlfriends, here I was working for a perpetually angry boss and being surrounded by negative colleagues. To say that I was envious is an understatement and I hated my life, but it made me all the more determined to succeed. Now, I wasn't born enterprising. I didn't know anything about business or selling. Still, that didn't stop me from trying. So I tried many things outside my working hours and of course I failed uh, in a lot of them. Then I discovered about this thing called make money online, you know, starting an internet business. Now, bear in mind this was 2004 and this was a time when the idea of having an online business had yet to capture public imagination. But then if you said, I have an online business back then, people around would not take you seriously or they think it's a scam. But I decided I had to make it work and I felt it was something I could do and it was within my reach. So after a full year at a job that I hated, I saved about 4,000 ringgit and quit my job to start a, this venture, okay? So my first product was a USD $97 ebook I bought the resale rights to. So the place I stayed in had no broadband, so I had to settle for a 56k modem. It's crazy to think about it, paying 10 times the price for a 110 speed. But that was exactly how business was founded on, and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't make anything at all in the first 3 months. The little savings I had got wiped out, bills were piling and we got eviction notices. And this was the hardest period of my life. I thought of giving up and go get another job, but for some reason I never got it. So then one random night, I made my first sale. I, I had to rub my eyes, I was in a state of disbelief, I mean, oh my god, I made my first sale. So maybe it was luck, maybe I did something that worked, and then another sale came in a few days later, then another, then another. Soon we made enough to withdraw some money from the ATM and pay a bit of bills here and there. You know, keep the bill collectors at bay for a while. I would still struggle for several more months, then came the big whopper. I launched my first ebooks online and made slightly more than 8,000 US dollars. Now, it may not seem impressive by today's standards, but back then, I had never seen that kind of money in my life. And after paying off expenses and clearing all our outstanding debt, there was still excess of 13,000 ringgit in the account. You know, when you're not doing very well, $10,000 would seem like a million dollars. And at the time, I just felt like the richest person in the world. So for the next several years, I continued to build and grow my online business. My understanding began to mature and I got a grasp of how internet marketing works. So as a Malaysian, I can earn in US dollars or in any other currency and spend in ringgits. I get to travel the world, get to meet high level entrepreneurs and all around amazing people, get to work from home or wherever I take my laptop to, and with time freedom, I get to excel in hobbies and interests that I am passionate about like airsoft, Parkour. And for my mother, I promised that she never had to get another job again and retire 10 years earlier than most people. And for my sister, even though I didn't get to go to college, I was able to put her into one just in time. And when I started getting invited to 
speak at events on entrepreneurship. I started to coach and train other business owners and those in the, the making to make money online and use the power of internet and social media. And that was when I realized that I'm not in the business of information after all, but rather in the business of transformation. So we're living in the most exciting times right now. Never before has it been possible to do business and get customers from anywhere in the world. And all you need is just a laptop, your phone and internet connection. And unlike before, you don't necessarily need hundreds of thousands of dollars to get started. Now, you don't even need to be a super technically proficient, but I believe you do need to have a few qualities to get the success that you deserve. Winners do whatever it takes and while well, everyone else tries their best. And what can I say? I'm feeling stoked, blessed and honored. And I believe everyone can achieve success if they are ready to do whatever it takes to get it.